I'm Wade Pruvita from Custom Fire and I'm going to be talking about Mata Midai's new Engine 1. This truck is built on a Spartan LFD Metrostar with a 10 inch raised roof. Behind me the apparatus body contains a two stage Watrous fire pump and a thousand gallon poly tank. And as you'll see this truck is set up for primarily structural firefighting on the driver's side and rescue extrication and whatnot on the officer's side. The cab interior is outfitted for five firefighters and has ample storage for medic bags and other EMS type equipment. We have fabricated glove box holders for rubber gloves, mounting points for handheld radios, a gang box for handheld lights, and then this features Spartan's APS airbag package as well as the SGM climate control system. The customer did a fantastic job laying this truck out from the very beginning. They knew where all their equipment was going to go. They had a very detailed inventory list. So when it came time to do the equipment mounting for them, it was a breeze for our installers and fabricators. In the front driver's side compartment, we have the side mounted pump control panel. As you can see, it's laid out with our pump pilot schematic showing colored backgrounds for all the different discharge controls. It also contains the controls for the light tower and the remote telescoping deck gun, which you will see later on. And on this particular truck, we place the removable speed lays behind the fire pump ahead of the water tank, which allows easy access to service and work on the fire pump when the cab is tilted. Each speed lay carries 200 feet of inch and three quarter fire hose. They're poly and they're removable from either side of the truck. And then we even have a swing out roller to protect the door jam in case they pull hose to the rear of the truck. So Mata Midai protects 35 square miles and they handle the eastern side of White Bear Lake, which is a fairly good sized lake northeast of the Twin Cities. And as you can probably tell, we're getting some lake gusts here and it's fall. It's a beautiful time of year in Mata Midai, so bear with us. But the driver's side front compartment here, as you can see, is laid out more like an engineer's compartment. We got room here for eight spare cylinders couple drawers here for couplings, appliances, and uh, common tools. And then you can see they've got a small step ladder and some additional space available for more equipment. The rear portion of the driver's side wheel well features our rectangular compartment for storage of collapsible wheel shocks. A lot of people don't want them hanging under the body because those brackets generally don't hold up well over time and then they fill up with crud and grime over years or snow. And then this has become quite popular, a swing out horizontal tool board. Tools for all your common uh, forcible entry, pike poles. We have a piercing nozzle on the back and then some shovels and brooms on the back wall of the compartment as well. And then of course in the rear driver's side compartment we've got a couple fans, multiple saws, gas cans, and then some additional equipment up above. So here we are at the rear of the truck. You can see they went with a color scheme on the Chevron to match their existing fleet. They adopted Chevron before the standard, so they stuck with the colors they already had. It's pretty clean back end here. We have our folding ladder. We have a step-in area. It's actually a walkway alongside the hose bed. And then ample storage for hose. A tall rear roll-up door. We have our external rear intake. So this is six inches all the way up to the fire pump excellent drafting performance on this truck and then a compartment for suction hose with a strainer but you'll notice that they also have a hose feeding into the notched area of that door that's for their ground monitor which is pre-connected and down below here they're going to have a 10 foot 6 inch hard hose with a low level strainer attached to it so they'll just pull it out of the compartment drop it in the folding tank and connect it and they'll be ready to go so I may have mentioned earlier that this is a thousand gallon tank with a 1500 fire pump. And the T of the tank is quite narrow. That affords us space under the left side of the T for storage of pike poles and all the ground ladders. And then the hard hose uh, and blitz fires under the other T. Down here we have a cord reel because this truck does have a generator on board. So climbing up the back of the truck is a breeze. We have this nice safe swing out fold down ladder. We have a walkway alongside of the hose bed, which is an important safety feature on this truck. It has floor drains in it and it's well lit for nighttime operations. 
the front of the body, above the tank, ahead of the hose bed, we have storage for a little giant ladder, as well as a hydraulic generator, a command light, and a TFT telescoping uh, deck gun. Right here, I'm at the officer side rear of the body. And again, these guys did a phenomenal job identifying what they wanted to carry on this truck, locating it by compartment. And then when the truck was done, they brought an enclosed trailer to Custom Fire and we laid everything out and they gave us instructions on where they wanted everything placed on the truck. So again, the theme of this truck is rescue on the officer side, fire on the driver's side. We have a couple pull-out tool boards in this compartment. On one side we have a small cribbing rack, and on the other side cable cutters and a cordless saw, as well as batteries. On this tool board we have a combi tool uh, with a hose. The power unit is on a rollout tray next to it. On the back side we have a sawzall and a couple more cordless tools. The idea of this truck is much like the 5S approach to manufacturing where you just identify your equipment, keep it clean and organized, that way you can go about your job efficiently and quickly uh, in a very safe manner. I found this interesting where we did these adjustable vertical dividers for a variety of hose rolls, kind of contoured to accommodate the shape of a hose roll. Again, making it easy to grab and deploy the hose, roll it up and put it back in its place. I've talked about this on prior videos, but a hallmark to Custom Fire is that we really think about the end user and their mechanic and service personnel, basically the ownership of the vehicle after you get it. We're all excited about new fire trucks and there's kind of this honeymoon period that takes place after you get it. But what really separates um, products from one another is what's the ownership experience like? What's it like to just kind of maintain and inspect this truck? We have basically a uh, an access door just to kind of observe anything in the pump compartment but if it gets deeper than that this whole panel is easily removed. Again the speed lay is being placed to the rear of the fire pump means that when we tilt the cab we have a large removable panel on the front of the pump house offering excellent access into the pump compartment. The Matamidi Fire Department started their relationship with Custom Fire about 10 years ago beginning with the light rescue behind me the pumper tanker, and most recently engine one. We understand that you have a lot of credible options to consider for new fire apparatus. But if you give Custom Fire the opportunity, we promise to out-design, out-manufacture, and out-service the competition. I'm Wade Kervita from Custom Fire. We'd love to hear from you, and thanks for watching. All right, well, I'll just kind of describe everything here. Wait for those guys to land. Yeah. Woo! Wow! Let's see. The customer did it. In okay. Should I try and jump the whole thing without using the ladder? You can splice that in, can't you? Yeah. Or Did I almost fall over when I did that? <laughs> it was a dry run. Well, there's a lot of retakes that I have to do. And then she's spliced, yeah. I keep her editing skills very sharp. No atrophy there.